Yeah, we back. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna try to let it hit that 200 again, y'all, before we take off. Y'all hear me? We finna. Oh uh, yeah, I'm finna smack y'all with some shit today about this Black History Month. That I looked at it. It was an hour, y'all. I'm finna smack and make sure y'all be sharing these lives three times because we interested in the power of the three, the six, and the nine. Like y'all gotta help me help y'all now. It take teamwork, y'all. Teamwork, y'all. You feel me? I'm kicking the shit now. It ain't nothing to spread it. You feel me? I'm kicking it. All you got to do is ingest it and spread it. I shouldn't even have to say nothing. We a team. You know what I'm saying? It don't shit. It don't even take a hundred motherfuckers to, to do nothing. And we got more than a hundred motherfuckers. So what we doing? It don't take a hundred motherfuckers to do nothing. And we got more than a hundred motherfuckers. So what is we doing? You know what I'm saying? We can make this shit have a thousand motherfuckers to a hundred thousand viewers on it if we wanted to. But it take, it take, you know what I'm saying? I can't do everything for y'all. You feel me? Y'all got to tag motherfuckers, share this shit the same way y'all do when y'all watch bullshit. When bullshit is on, motherfuckers share it, tag it. And nigga shit be viral in two seconds. You know what I'm saying? When it be bullshit. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, okay. It was more toward the end. Okay. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? We was hold on, hold up, hey, for my niggas who be thinking we saw, we don't play. Fuck around and get your ugly off. Hold up, hey, for my niggas who be, we don't play. Once I hit two, once we hit two hundred, I'm going back in. I don't wanna be loved, I don't wanna be loved. I just wanna quickie. I'm not gonna wait to hit 200. Numbers start going down, nigga. I'ma just start talking. Don't fuck with me, man. Like I won't just take off with 10 people on here, G. Stop playing me, man. I'm gonna let the motherfuckers hear that was just old here, nigga. Well fuck it. Y'all don't wanna hear it, fuck them, dude. That's they lost. I'm going clean in. Y'all take it too long. Told y'all we was coming right back. Niggas don't want to hear it. Anyway, so back to Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> this realm around you is an electromagnetic realm. Like I was telling y'all in the first class, this, this, this second class, in the first class, like I was telling y'all, this is a magnetic realm. Okay, we got to pause on these words because y'all need to understand that the celebration of Black History Month is rich, a satanic ritual ritual that we have celebrated year after year, helping them harness more of our energy. <clears throat> we are the ancient beings. We are the ones that whatever we think and believe it manifests, not them. I repeat. We are the ancient beings. We, me and your carbonated beings, we are the ones that whatever we say happens. Whatever we think happens. Because we are the magnets. Remember, I told you, the soul is magnetism. You close that, that window blind up there for me. Nah, the one in the front. Yeah, I don't like that one though because somebody could just be, they can see me, I can't see them. You feel me? Because I'm looking this way. Thank you. But yeah, though, anyway. So, this is a, a magnetic realm that we live in. So, we got to pause on certain words. I'm going to pause, family. We got to pause on certain words. We're just not jumping around it. 
Y'all got to know what Black History Month really is. The celebration of it. You feel me? It's witchcraft. It's magic being used against you. But if you don't know what magic is, and you still like your, your third eye closed to the point where you think magic is just made up shit that they told you when you was a kid. No. Magic is the science of understanding how this electromagnetic world you live in works. That's magic. And when he or she masters and understands the science of the way your electromagnetic field around you works, which is called the aura, or the electromagnetic field around this planet works, then you become a magician. You get what I'm saying? Let me say it back. Magic is the science of this electromagnetic planet that we live on in this material realm. That's what magic is. Magic comes from the key element of mag, M-A-G, mag. They just added the ick on the end, I-C. But mag comes from magnetic. Okay? Everything around you has an electromagnetic field around it. In religion or in the spiritual realm, they call this an aura. I'm giving y'all the science of it. Remember, this is a university of cosmic intelligence. So I'm here to give y'all the science of this shit. I'm going to break it down for you in the hood terms, but I'm going to still give you the science of it too. You get both in here because I'm all about duality. So I'm going to give you, I follow the laws of the cosmos. I got to give you the scientific words to give you the science of it. And then I got to break it down to the hood version to give you the hood, you know what I'm saying? So this shit balance out correctly because it's duality in all things. This is the yin and the yang that the, the Asians show you in the little yin and yang symbol that they got from us. Remember, we are the original Asiatic beings as well. We are the original everything. Everything came after us. Who is us? Your carbonated beings. Your Puerto Ricans, your black people, your Africans, your Jamaicans, your Belizeans, all your people in South America. People in Barbados or the Caribbean Islands. Yeah, at overseas. Everybody with carbon in their skin that can channel the frequency of the sun. These are the chosen ones. These are, these are the chosen ones. These are the gods and goddesses. These are the descendants of the Anunnaki. Anunnaki. If you want to call them that. Or Atlanteans. That's you. Or your Cherokee Indians. Or your Navajo. Your Mayans. You're looking at them. You. They just enslaved you. And gave you these different names. Like black. Keep in mind. That you are an ancient being. We are ancient beings. We are electricity and magnetism. Whatever we think and whatever we speak happens. Because thoughts and words is nothing more but electricity and magnetism. They're just little magnets. Your thoughts and your words are little magnets. And they go out into this electromagnetic realm and they attach to it. And they attract shit to your to it. That's why they tell you be careful what you say out your motherfucking mouth. Because it's whatever you say out your mouth. It's a magnet. Your words are magnets. This is why in the Bible they tell you about the power of life and death is in the tongue. But they don't break it down all the way. Like I'm breaking it down for you. Giving you the signs of this shit nigga. This shit real. Why you think you be thinking about somebody and then they call you out the blue? Your thoughts and your words are magnets, nigga. Whatever you think, whatever you say, you're going to attract things to what it is that you said and thought because they are magnets. That's a good thing and that's a bad thing. 
It's a good thing if you understand that and master that truth because then you create your own reality. This is how people create their own reality. This is how I manifested my shit. This is how people that manifest, they manifest their realities. This is why when you write something down, it works. This is why when you say some shit, it comes to pass. This is why I keep telling you, shorty, stop saying y'all smoking on anybody that died. Because you are an ancient being, so you're going to bring death to yourself. Because you speaking it. You speaking it. Your thoughts are magnets. But they didn't teach you this in school. That's too much power. Because now you know, ain't no God and no sky creating your days. You create your days. With your thoughts and your words. There's also no judgment day. There's no God in the sky to judge your days for you are the God. You are the power which you seek, nigga. When you pray to God, you pray into your motherfucking self. You only talking to yourself. You judge your days with your thoughts and your words. If you do fucked up shit, you end up with fucked up days. A lot of them. And I'm not talking about the law of duality days. You have duality, yes. But no, I'm talking about that's when karma come in, what they talk, call karma. So you judge your own days. That's the true judgment day because you are the God that's cre creating your reality with your thoughts and your words. If you say you can't do it, then guess what? You're right. You can't do it. If you say you can, then guess what? You're still right. You can't do it. This is why I don't. See, when you rise to this level of understanding, you are the master of your reality. I'm the master of my reality. Whatever I want, I just think and speak and thus it shall be because I understand that my words and my thoughts are magnets.